Hi guys, I am here today to talk about online flower buying. What is going on? Is it good? Is it bad? What's the secrets? Most online floral companies who advertise shipping bouquets to you, uh, one of the main problems with many of them is they're selling you flowers from that were grown next to windmills in Holland and volcanoes in South America. That's part of the pitch. Well, the, the truth is all flowers are grown near a windmill in Holland that come from Holland. All flowers are grown near that volcano in South America. But the problem is they've spent three or four days there and another three or four days here on a FedEx truck getting to you. So you tell me, I bet your online flower purchases are lasting about five or six days. You think that's normal. Flowers in my house last two weeks, three weeks, sometimes four weeks. I have videos on how do you get them to last for four weeks. So how do you get good online, fl online flowers? Um, the, a lot of the flowers you buy in a flower shop are also transported from around the world, but they're kept in what's called the cool chain the whole time. They land in refrigerated airplanes and they're shipped in refrigerated trucks. So I prefer flowers from a local flower shop with someone that I know well who does use that cold chain, it's called. Also FedExing overnight. I'm one of the few people in the country who FedEx from farms overnight right to your house. That is the best way to get flowers. And there, there's ice packs or they're cool chained as well to you. That's why I, people get my flowers they, and they say, I didn't even look at them and they lasted two weeks. So online flower buying is nice. I think some of them are a bit expensive when you throw in the shipping. It's no less expensive than going to your local flower shop and doing it that way. But again, the best way, and it's always changing. Years ago, we couldn't do FedEx overnight. Years ago, we didn't import flowers from volcanoes in South America, but now we are. So that is the best way to do. Get a source for really good flowers that are cold chain or FedEx overnight. If you have a flower farm down the road, that might work too. That's pretty direct. So uh, if you've gotten uh, online flowers and they worked really well or didn't work really well, I wanna hear about it. I wanna know what's the longest they've ever lasted and what's the shortest. If you like and want more information on the world of flowers, click below and add a comment. Let me know what's happening with your online flowers. I am Michael Gaffney Flowers on Instagram and flowerschool101.com is my website where you'll find out all about the schools and where I'm lecturing and teaching next. So, keep blooming.